Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Um, episode 4, right? Yeah. Uh, Paulette is up, Rita is up, eating. And what are we, 5 in the morning? We tend to start our episodes at 5 in the morning now, don't we? I think as we did last time too. Uh, Carter and Simon are still sound asleep. Paulette is thinking about her life, but hasn't chosen an activity yet. <laughs> Rita... It's got some planting to do, and argued with Paulette about Crash's cause. Ah, uh, probably an important co uh, conversation about this time. I'm just noticing wings back in here. Can I get any lower? I cannot. There's something flying around there. You guys are. They're just uh. So they'll. I wonder if they stay in a certain place and just hover. What is that? Oh, that's what I heard. Got a critter in there. No, not you. Can't. There we go. Anyway, back to where I was. I get distracted real easy. Especially in this game. There's so much to see. Anyway, before I started, I went ahead and popped in a shooting target. I was going through the... Boy, where is that? Defenses? No. I don't know where I found it now. He's in here somewhere. Not buildings. There we are. So, furniture. It just got dark. Anyway, furniture, shooting target, construction materials. No description. I guess it's just meant to be obvious. But this will give them a chance to practice and should uh, uh, hone their, their skills for, for battle. In fact, let's, uh, let's pop a couple of those in. You, copy, just don't shoot each other, okay? <laughs> let's zoom in here and take a look at our new crops seeing movements over there still so these guys have been planted Rita is first harvesting I found some more of the mushrooms out there that I'd like for her to get uh, brought back in um, Carter is constructing some of the last of the things yeah he's gonna be spending the day working up there so Rita's out there harvesting Paulette is cooking Simon is eating Simon oh 12 aggressive animals Hmm. I was about to say I would like for Simon to get out here and do some observing of these, uh, what I'm assuming is a tobacco-like plant, but I might be entirely wrong. So I'd like for him to confirm that. Twelve aggressive animals just showed up, popping over here like a beetle. And they're still... yeah, the texture was odd. Like They're still uh, uh, heading into the game. They're heading in this way. Are they... Staying in this area, or are they heading toward us? I think they're just kind of congregating around. Oh, they are eating up my corn. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to do something about that. But let me think here. I know we can handle these guys. They're they're not very tough. But there's another Pancoth, Yeah. The further out we attack them, the further we have to walk to go and butcher them and get their bug meat. If I let them come into here, then we don't have to walk as far. I kind of like that. Let's observe them for a while. Not in the sense of observing them, but let's let them just kind of do their thing and we'll do our thing. Anyway, Simon, you whine to Paulette about remaining stranded forever. Yeah, just boost the morale by talking about uh, how we're never going to get off this planet. Simon, can you come over here and draft the, or observe this? Let's see, have I got the right one? Yeah, one of you. Come over here and do that. So, give you something to do while we're figuring things out. <clears throat> Last episode, meat soup. So, Paulette... Just made our first meat soup. Last time we gave her the laser pistol. Um, Paulette, there, laser pistol. So, range of 49 versus Rita's uh, railgun sniper of 131. So, more of a close in attack, not long range. All right. Um, the sniper attack rate is slow. Four to six seconds per shot. Versus this one, which is 
I see attack. Okay, there it is. I, I saw attack and I thought I read accurate. Attack quick, one to two seconds. So every couple of seconds she can get off another shot. Um, what kind of power? What do we have? I'm not seeing numbers for that. <clears throat> Hit chance. So the sense of how strong, how much damage you're going to do. Am I just not seeing it? I get a range. I get what kind it is, blunt and piercing, and the chance to hit and chance to crit. But how powerful is it? I don't know. Maybe they're all equal in this game. Just whether or not it's going to make contact. Hmm. I guess when they do come rolling in on us, we will see just, uh, just how they all work. They are eating my plants. Health 100. Health 18. And that one's about to go down. Two. And it withered. Zero. Hmm. So they're going to, what, eat until they're bored? And then come attack us? I don't know. Well, I think it will let us know when they decide to uh, come over and say hello. So until then, let's just keep an eye on what else is going on. Simon is back here doing his job. Paulette is crafting. Thump? What was the thump? Grain Cobb is dead. I don't think that was the thump, though. Now it's still... It's still there. Okay, what was the thump? I didn't see anything pop up on the screen anywhere. Oh, well, turn that back on. And... Paulette is crafting. Rita, I saw her a moment ago. She's walking in with what she just collected. Some more of the of the glow mushrooms. Carter is going to construct a shooting target. Okay, what does that take? 30 hay, 30 wood. So, do you have a pocket full of logs or something? Would you... Oh, you're, you're going to just deliver the hay then go all the way back there and get the logs. Okay. They are just going to town on that. Which means Rita doesn't have to... Oh, we moved on. We're going on after the next one. Rita doesn't have to go out there and harvest those. We're going to have our own. Plenty of them. Another batch of them here. But if they come over to our crops, then yeah, we're going to have to, to say uh, no more. What are they doing now? They're no longer hungry. Kind of looks that way. You are attacking that, though. Otherwise, the rest are just kind of chilling out. These guys over here are, too. Be interesting if they spawned in around something like this. These ones are aggressive. These are not. At least they haven't acted that way so far. We've got a Pankoth feeding on a dead flathead. Hmm, but we'd have to walk through these guys to go over there and do something with it. You are attacking that. The rest of you guys are just kind of sitting there. Okay. I'm, I'm curious to see, where am I at? How long they will hang around until they are triggered to do something. So long as we are not walking over there to go do something and getting outnumbered, I think we're going to be fine. We're all in... Where's Rita now? I don't know. Overview. You're just idling. Ah, okay. Those guys are all where? Over there. So she may have a hard time getting in before they do. Yeah. Rita, let's, let's assign you to something. Idling is not the same thing as relaxing, I'm pretty sure. But how about you come on over here and plant uh, cloth blossoms? Hey, I said it successfully. <laughs> cloth blossom. It's hard to spit out sometimes. You are just kind of walking around. You're waiting for this next battle to be over, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to... What was that? I don't know. Is that... Did a tree go down? Carter, where are you? Everybody's taking a break. What was that noise? Oh, you are practicing. 
Interesting. And you chose to shoot through this target to get to that one. Even though it's not real yet. Ah, the attack is happening. Well, good you got some practice in there. So, <clears throat> where are we all at? At this point, Rita is they've made it to here. Paulette's here. Simon is going to skip or lose his relaxation time because I assigned him to something. Let's grab Simon and draft and bring out to here. Let's grab Paulette and draft and bring out to uh, right here. That didn't work. Draft. There you go. Bring you out to here. And Rita. Yeah, there you go. Draft and come on back over here. You could probably handle that whole crowd all by yourself. And I would like for uh, for others to get a chance to give it a try, too. So, Simon is there. Carter, I never did draft you because you were already in this area. Come on over here. And Simon is all ready to draw and fire. Rita. Paulette, why don't you come on closer? Give you a chance. Yeah, these are a one-shot wonder here. So, give you a chance to see what a laser pistol can do. Rita, come on over here with these guys. Rita, these guys. Paulette will be a little bit closer. In fact, a little closer yet. We can... Well, don't want her to get in the way of fire. Yeah. Actually, let's bring you... Can I bring you to the top of the hill here? Is that... A thing. Can we climb up on things? We cannot. Okay, good to know. Let's bring you right over here. And in fact, we're going to get a good chance right now. And there she goes. One shot and is down. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. The laser pistol is effective. You just can't shoot from as long of a distance but all three of these are taking out targets at random and and we trust that they're going to do a great job at it and even get any closer paulette's going to take out her range is right there so let's move you in a little bit because you may not get another chance because they're these guys over here are taking them out there we go oh missed and got them okay you got this one and boom somebody saved you there and that's it they're gone okay well that was interesting can i double click and get all of the bugs i'm drafted so that's not there we go that is 11 there were 12. there's one more somewhere but set all these guys to butcher and they're highlighted where have we missed the the last one did one not walk in Hmm, don't know. You guys do that. Let's grab Carter and undraft all by doing that. Yeah, that works. They're going to go do their thing. Simon is researching. Well, if you're not going to, because it's 1,600 hours, not going to relax, and go ahead and finish off your observations there. Uh, Rita is harvesting. Paulette is crafting. Paulette, let's have you instead butcher. Butcher six of them. Then come on over here and butcher another two of them. And Carter is repairing something. Where are you at? Repairing shooting target. <laughs> well, you're the one that caused that. Well, okay, that's why you're repairing it. All right. So shooting target. Wow. You practice it, and then you destroy it, then you go back and rebuild it. This is going to be an ongoing cycle, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, now we found a use for, for hay beyond uh, uh, the initial shelter, since the log cabin and all the future buildings don't use hay. But shooting targets do. Paulette is carving up a bunch of bugs. We're getting, we got five out of that one. Is that a, a pattern here? Yeah, so five per bug. So let's have you, Paulette, and do the rest of those. And in case these aren't marked, we'll go ahead and, and do that one. 
butcher overgrown oh no you need to be observed we do need to observe one of these uh, Rita would be great at that she is right now transporting so Rita can I say when you're done now not really I hmm, we may have to though when we're done transporting can you come over here and observe that now let's just get Simon to do it right now Simon I'll grab you this way and come on over here and observe this hopefully it's a faster does it it doesn't give me a hint on how long huh no so hopefully it's faster than it takes to do these plants because that takes them all day long I just don't know if this bug's still gonna be here you let's take off a butcher that's two chances that one of these bugs will be here tomorrow I'm thinking about all of the pan coths and everything else that like to come in and and um, that just triggered a memory I saw a great big bird with a big wingspan a moment ago and I just it was over here flying it just kind of went through my view but I was thinking about bugs there's maybe two different bird species that clean up uh, uh, the, the dead animals afterward carrion species where, what did I see? It was like the Pancoth, but it was more like a pterodactyl. And you! The heck are you? Flying reptile. Non Pancoth. Okay, so species seems relatively peaceful. A living specimen could be observed and studied from a distance. I'll mark you, just in case you hang into the area for a while. But, uh, yeah. Memory just, it, it's, it's interesting when you're making a video like this, you get what they call, what do they call it, YouTube uh, tunnel vision, meaning that you're, when you're talking, your mind is in a different mode than when you're just quietly playing and thinking and planning and, and you know, playing it is very different from narrating it. So, what are you doing? Rita is farming at a run. She's going to farm some of the glitter caps. And you are cooking, it looks like mush, porridge. Yeah, there's another porridge. And we've got bug meat now, so... No, wait a minute, you look a little different. Does it say what you're actually transporting? Transporting two brown bowls. Okay, so that means these guys. So shelf life under a roof is four days, and that is our bug meat soup I hope you used a lot of garlic on that discovered scarabay 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 you tell me how that's pronounced let's read this the bug I observe looks like an overgrown version of the pest that's known and hated on many worlds scarabs Giving it a common bug's name felt a bit underwhelming, so I chose the nice-sounding scarabay. Unfortunately, it's a lot more annoying than some tiny insect that scuttles through your fridge. This one... Scarabs don't scuttle through your fridge, do they? Anyway, this one is, a, is big and impudent enough to attack humans and do some damage. The main problem is that these insects tend to swarm and work together in large groups so they should not be underestimated okay so that I think is a hint that we have much larger groups on their way in some soon so Rita is where oh that wasn't planting that was foraging she's finishing up the foraging orders okay so, I'm starting to wonder if planting isn't a little bit more important than, not foraging, harvesting. Let's look at that. Is there a way to make that one notch less without taking it out of the running completely? I want to get the planting done. I want to make sure that there's enough time to get the growth in. Planting is important. If I make that a two, it's then going to come in after handling, after hunting. Let's try that. 
So from now on, she'll plant first, and harvesting will come in a little bit later. But we are at 2,300. These guys are going to be grabbing dinner, possibly, and getting to bed. Paulette's going to sleep. Uh, Rita is still coming in. Okay. Uh, Carter was hungry. And we're having some conversations and talking about our day. And what is our plan for the next day? What has been happening? I see that all of the lights are in, the torches. Is there another place that obviously needs some? Did I just hear thunder? Maybe somebody banged something on the other side of that wall of my studio. Kind of a rumble a second ago, but there's no there's no storm clouds out there. Anyway, so we've got most of our lights in. Is there anywhere else I could really use those lights? I wonder if they would ever target practice at night. If so, they're going to miss all the time. And I wonder if target practice wears down our rifles. Hmm. I have to see if there's a way of seeing the hit points and how quickly those go down, though. I'd have to believe it takes a while to take the uh, the rifles down. But, yeah, let's, uh, you, copy. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put one there and one there, just in case they decide to make that a habit. Otherwise, up in here, it looks a little bit more complete. There's, there's a lot more to be done. Logs, is, we're down to 36, so we need to specifically assign some cut orders and get uh, get these raw materials in. We're still waiting for those, waiting for all these bushes. Yeah, there are plenty of things for them to do, that's for sure, but it'd be nice to get the obvious orders that are waiting and have been waiting for a while cleaned up and done. So we'll try and do that next time. Uh, next time meaning tomorrow, this episode. So we are at 2 in the morning, not much more going on there, and not much more to plan. So let's just go roam our map. How are our big chickens doing? You're up over here. Okay. One. There was a pack of four here before. Why am I only seeing one of you? Have you been picking on, uh, on uh, other animals that are stronger than you? You're kind of the bully, aren't you? Where'd you go? Yeah, you guys are kind of bullies. You just kind of wander out there and, and go and pick on someone, or peck on someone. But there's more of them. Different group? No, we've got a nest over here. Though I don't remember ever seeing you guys in a nest over here. I wonder if that just spawned into the game. That's yeah, possible. Oh, oh. Oh, they just about took off to go and attack that. So I wonder if anything comes within their range, if they will, you know, respond and, and attack. Something, especially something smaller than them. There's a lot of noise going on over there. Is there animals in these bushes? Or is that just the... I guess that's just the, the early morning breeze coming through. Hmm... All right, I've stalled enough. Let's get back over here. I see all of the glitter caps that have been marked are done. So everything else is still growing and will not mark anymore. So everyone's sleeping, should be waking up soon. It is 5 in the morning. Simon usually woke up at 5. Well, no, he didn't this morning. It was Paulette that got up first. All right, it looked like they're starting to get up and... What? Really? Who is that? That is Simon, right? Simon has decided to shoot right through the camp. Maybe there is a more logical place to place these. <laughs> okay, I can see some sleeps being disturbed. Mm-hmm, yeah. Let's, let's rethink that. Let's, first of all, cancel you guys let's move you we haven't moved anything yet so now we get to see how that's done but where to well I guess we want them somewhat close to where we are more likely to be attacked in the sense that we don't want them to be 
uh, way off practicing when an attack rolls over this hill over here or whatnot. We'll keep it nearby, but maybe that is a little bit close. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Pumpkins. We talked about pumpkins, or what I'm calling pumpkins. I'm sure the game isn't calling them pumpkins. Right here. We need to get these observed. I know Carter... No, Simon needs to be doing some research, and I have been distracting him from it. But there are some things that are kind of important. We're seven days into this. We're more than halfway through the spring into this. And we do need to get our plantings in, which we can't do until we have observed them. Reed is my other observer. I don't want to... Oh, you're planting in the bushes. You're taking the bushes down to plant, and it's called planting. Okay. And you're going <laughs> to shut down and go get something to eat. Okay. Paulette, what are you doing? You're crafting. So as soon as you're done with that crafting... What are you crafting? More balm? Yeah. More healing balm. So once you finish that, are you going to put it on the shelf? You are. Very good. And then <clears throat> let's send you out there to clear out those bushes for Rita so she can get the planting done. So that she can... You are now... Oh! Getting for Balm. I see. Okay. Let's cancel that and have you come out and clear these, these bushes. So, observe cut broadleaf bushes. So what happened to the stuff that was in your hand? You just dropped it right there. That's fine. Somebody will come pick that up soon. What is the shelf life? There they are. Outside. Eight days outside. And that I'm sure will get maybe even Rita's transport order <clears throat> to go pick it up. In fact, I'm curious to see if it works that way. We've discovered... It is called smoke leaf. That's what it's called in Room World 2, right? And we've discovered tea boiling. Oh, okay. So, new discovery. The wide leaves of this plant are remarkably similar to a rare and expensive type of tobacco. It actually got banned on my home world a few years ago, and its price shot up even higher. Don't ask me how I know this. <laughs> anyway, if I'm correct... These smoke leaf plants contain several alkaloid stimulants, which can be drawn out by drying the leaves. Grind them, stick them in a pipe, and you get a great mood booster. Ooh. No hangovers or other side effects that I know of. All right, so we have got harvesting of raw, planting of smoke leaf, drying of smoke leaf, into dried smoke leaf on a drying rack. So it probably does add another set of uh, instructions to the drying rack. Crafting of smoke leaf pipes. Ah. And tea boiling. Technology for research. Tea. Is tea mentioned up in here? Tea boiling technology for research. Oh. So we don't actually know how to boil tea yet. Now we've got the opportunity to go and figure out how to boil tea. Is that what you're trying to say? If tea is there, I don't see it. Pickling, brewing, coffee. Maybe it's part of coffee. Yeah, I'm sure it's there somewhere. But, um, okay. So, what'd that do here? Quick recipes. Did we add something like make tea? We did not. Okay. Uh, tasty recipes? No. Okay, so that's not there. Did we add anything to this guy? Smoke leaf pipe. We need to collect smoke leaf before we can do anything. Okay. And in that case, we also need a drying rack that can handle more than just two things. I think so. Let's, rather than add another one to it, can I, how do I deconstruct? Let's just take you down. And let's put in, where was that? Store? Not storage. That was probably production. Yeah. Let's put the big one in. Wooden. And R rotates me around. I guess that's somewhat of a, of a front. Kind of. 
sure. So we'll just have the big one and not a big one and a small one. Otherwise, Carter is repairing the shooting target and so is shooting a... Is there a category for relaxation furniture? I guess not. It is used for relaxation. So they will tend to do that at their midday break. I see. So you're repairing it. You're moving it. All right, what are you going to do next? Deconstructing small drying rack. I kind of want to get you up in there, but yeah, okay, let's get all this busy work done. Rita is planting. Um, need a new research tea boiling and wooden research wooden fortifications. Ah, okay. So with that, Simon, you can head over and research pumpkins. Squash like plant. Okay, and new research tea boiling. I didn't find it in the list, but smoke leaf plants might have other use. If we boil the raw leaves to get rid of the toxins, it would make a refreshing tea beverage. Um, look at that again. No, move over. There. Makes five. Boiled on the campfire cook stove. Once we research it. I was wondering if it gave a positive to happiness or positive to energy or anything else um let's you guys are all busy right that 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 yeah you're doing your things so let's look at research and i'll let the let the timer run so we are now working on tailoring how important is that for right this moment otherwise Insect fats. Large, juicy insects have a lot of fat tissue. We could use a cold press to extract it from the meat. We will need some cloth to filter the toxic stuff out. <clears throat> Versus oil extraction. Paulette Reach Physical 2. Um, how do you get animal fats? Is that also something to do with this? Hmm... There are noises, noises and things happening out there. Tailoring weaponsmithing. Is there, I guess that would give us a melee weapon. Spears. Might not be a bad idea. That is next. Let's pull you up. How do I say no thank you? Right click. There we go. So we're going to weaponsmithing next. I do want to start... Uh, refining metals so that one can stay there spaceship deconstruction doesn't have to be now um i have to find or produce metal alloys in order to do musical instruments i can't even click on it yet um hay sausage doesn't sound all that important at the moment what was that oh you're shooting from where who is shooting is that relaxation yeah, she is shooting from all the way over here. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter where I put them. That's pretty much it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how long have I been going at this? Oh, we can, we can go on for a while yet. Anyway, what to add to this? Fuel fermentation. Rotting meat of giant alien insects leaks terrible smells and highly flammable substances. We may use this to produce liquid fuel. By placing a lot of raw insect meat in a tightly closed fermentation barrel, let's hope it doesn't blow up. So is that how we get the fermentation barrels? Or is that just another use for it and we get it from somewhere else? I'm not seeing it anywhere, so I'm going to say let's do that. Um... I have a feeling this might be important, but I'm not sure why. Antibiotic production, though. I think we better get that one going. That sounds pretty important. And oil extraction, let's just put that in the list. And we'll see what we get from there. So we are now at 1,400 hours. Let's reevaluate things. Carter is taking a break. Does he truly need it? His relaxation is down to nothing, so I guess I better just leave him alone. Paulette, you're... In fact, let me look at that. What does that do for us? Stressed out 9 and hungry 9. Pretty soon that 40 is going to go away, and that's all he will have had for the day, which puts him in a cranky mood. 
So yeah, we better get relaxation figured out. You can still be butchered. I don't need to save you or you. And there's more over there. Let's butcher all these guys. Don't need to save you for uh, research anymore. Um, Paulette is eating. Eating. Pop over to you. When you get done eating, let's have you continue. Oh, let's put that away. Thank you. You didn't. What you doing? Paulette is getting that for that. Can you put this away? Thank you. And then I want you to get some more, I guess, more of these fields cleared out. Reserved by Rita. You go ahead and do that. Rita, why don't you continue planting? You get the stuff in the ground. She'll clean up the, uh, uh, the work areas. Those plants that were eaten by the bugs appear to be gone now. I don't see any dead plants laying around or standing around. And Simon is working on that. Rita is planting... Paulette is coming over to cut these. Carter, what are you up to? You are repairing a shooting target. Let's not make that such a priority. Let's get you to cut some trees down if we can get back to working on this. So let's have you cut that instead and then get in and work on these three trees. That seems like a better use of our time than to be continually repairing what we're constantly destroying. So what just dropped in the ground there? Another pancoth. And is our big, ugly reptile bird still around? Doesn't seem to be, at least not on the ground. Ah, no, that's a pancoth flying around over there. Okay. What are we doing over here? Paulette is getting... She is determined to do her job. And that's, of course, what she's supposed to be doing. But let's cut that <clears throat> so Rita can continue to do her job and when you're done cutting that let's have you then come over here and cut these let's cut these and cut these so the least count in our queue and we can be done with that And Carter needs to get some more stone, but we haven't actually found a, a use for stone yet. We haven't used any of it. Yeah. So what is Carter up to right now? He is taking trees down. Good. You just finished that. Uh, new wooden fortifications is is uh, chirping at me. He's transporting logs. Maybe he will get back to building now. Is there a chance of that? Wait until he drops these logs off and see what happens. No, you're determined to go and fix that shooting target. Well, then take down some more trees. Cut you and you and get that one and just kind of clean this work area up. Okay, so let's read about for wooden fortifications. Oh, we already have. Tea boiling. So we've learned everything. It's just telling us that it's done. Okay, let you guys run. We are cleaning up the bugs ourselves now and oh those are shadows moving across because the sun is moving in the sky that's an interesting graphic you guys are just eating these away and they're pretty much all gone now hmm and this one's going away too but yeah let them go away there'll be more bugs in the future we need to get the planting done uh, Paulette, yeah, we need to get these cut, and can you continue, please? Take these out, and we'll be pretty much done. Carter's reached physical four, great. Ravenously hungry. Okay, Carter, we'll, uh, we'll let you go and do your own thing now. I can't, I guess, I can't just right-click and have you go somewhere. So I can do this and this. All right. No, don't go repair the shooting target. Go eat, you ravenously hungry guy. Oh, well. So in that case, let's... Which shooting target is in the worst shape? Let's deconstruct that. We'll just deal with one shooting target. Not going to make this a, a, our life's work now. Um, how close are you to being ready to harvest? 
So average health is 100, average growth is 65%, average growth rate is 80, so we're not in the best of soils. Temperature is great, soil is not so great, so it'll take a little bit longer to grow and mature than this patch over here, where these guys are 100%. Okay. Otherwise, Rita's where? She's going off to get something to eat. I guess we're kind of calling this one a day. Yeah. Discovered buttermelon. All right. So buttermelon, there's a lot of it to harvest on the map. So maybe we don't need to risk a meltdown, Carter. Let's pause and think about that. Um, maybe we don't need to plant a large amount of it at this point. But let's plant buttermelon where we can. So you are, can I, oh, I see it goes over that, like that. Let's leave one space in between there. Um, like that, and on up into the hill there. Eh, something like that. That works. Okay, buttermelon there. Let's go talk to Carter. He's taking a walk, getting his relaxation up. His fullness and happiness we go into do anything you want mode at what time? 23? Um, activities. No. Schedule. At 20. We're at 21. So they're already doing whatever they want. And he has decided that his relaxation is more important than anything else. So there you're back. Our buzzard. Oh. Several. Interesting. Don't know that I'm going to want to deal with a whole pack of those guys if we get attacked. Pankos are one thing, but anyway, <clears throat> hopefully Carter knows what's best for him and we'll get his... You are now constructing a floor. Now, can you get something to eat? What is with this? I guess I'm failing to understand the, the logic here. Is there a reason that you're not eating? Come on over here and eat a meat soup. Dude. So happiness is low because of the ravenously hungry and it's dark. Yeah, you're just going to take your time and now you're going to be too tired. Let's draft you and bring you here. That will make you run. With a loaded gun in your hand. <laughs> so we've had our meal. And we want to walk all the way back there to do some more work. To walk back here and go to sleep. Hmm. Anyway, Carter, undraft. And can you grab a meal? There you go. Thank you. Okay. So that took care of that. That's going to get rid of the 18. The It's Dark is still there. Oh, we haven't refilled. Waiting for fuel. Fuel is a... What was that word? No, not research. Activities is a handle activity. So they are stuck on all of their ones and not getting to any of the twos. Rita will eventually when there's nothing else to plant. Otherwise, Simon is always going to be... He's always going to have a number one for research. Carter... Is probably always going to be building or scavenging. Yeah. Handle is... We're going to have to have somebody set to handle. I think Paulette is our best candidate on that one. So let's... Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Carter pretended not to hear Simon's concerns. <laughs> yeah, talk to the wall. All right. So Paulette is sleeping. When she gets up in the morning, she will most likely go straight into filling up all the torches and, and whatnot. Yeah. So, where am I? I'm thinking this night is probably the last night of this episode. We'll, uh, we'll start tomorrow. So, the music that ended last episode, that was different. We did have it attack the next day. That music started up right at dawn. But since I started this episode after that, it didn't re-trigger. Okay, let's 
try to take note of the next time we hear that music in particular if you remember how last episode ended it was kind of a da 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 noise and and uh wonder if that is our clue but everyone is sound asleep i think it's probably time for me to do that as well so let's call this one done this has been noble rambler and thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you next time Bye bye